since the AGAA meetings will not convene this year because of the coronavirus, my ode, as your poet laureate, with a tip of the hat to Seamus Heaney, is being delivered right outside my kitchen door. Our virtual graduation, a salute to the determination and character of our scholar athletes told through Harvard's amazing football history in a time of necessary quarantine. A spirit moved. John Harvard walked the yard. The books stood open, the gates unbarred. I quote Seamus Heaney, because he's a real rock star. I'm not. So imagine the gates are not unbarred because I'm quarantined and locked out of Harvard Yard with my ode to football history and our student stars. But first, since Harvard must be first because God has made it so, Harvard invented football. Here's how that story goes. Back in 1869, Rutgers and Princeton claimed they played no passing, carrying, and no run. No pads, no helmets, wrong ball, not even blockers. They claimed they played the first football game, but that was soccer. Thank heaven, five years thereafter, Harvard played McGill in an international collegiate game of skill. Thank heaven Harvard's rules were used and they came to be in place of the rules for kickball in backwoods, New Jersey. Harvard is Veritas. So what's the mystery? First game? Right rules. God knows who wrote that history. And then a spirit moved. The class of 79. In 1903, they built it ahead of its time. In mid-November, just one month before man could fly, an above-ground bomb shelter with a 50-yard line. If you think that stadium money went down the drain, consider a century ago, we won the Rose Bowl game. And seven national championships were also won with six big Rhodes Scholars each maybe a tenth of a ton, and 17 conference titles, and we're not even done. Because it looks like Coach Murphy is still having tons of fun. 42 varsity sports, the most in Division I. Our scholar athletes test real well, and they also can chew gum. Yes, it's sad for all of us, quarantined from the yard, exiled from graduation. Alums is what we are. So let's summon Seamus Heaney. He is our trusted bard. He turns our prayers to poetry and realigns our stars. Let's pray soon a spirit moves and John Harvard will walk the yard and the books will reopen and soon for all of us the gates can be unbarred. Sincerely your Poet Laureate.